They're for marking the timestamps of different sections of your live show. They're placeholders to easily create video chapters without rewatching everything. They're for marking points in your live show that you'd like to repurpose. <laughs> my Ecamm fam has had markers for a long time now, but for my StreamYarders, looks like you've finally been invited to the party. Let's take this latest feature for a test drive and see how it compares to Ecamm. So we're back in StreamYard and I've got a new studio created here called Testing Markers. Let's enter that studio. We're going to add our cameras really quickly, go live, add some markers. Then I'm going to show you in post what those markers look like um, with a test live stream that I did a little earlier. So here I've got two cameras in the studio already. I'm going to just add one more extra camera, share, boom. Let's go to our brand type, take that off, and we're gonna add all three cameras to the screen. We're ready to go live. Um, and even as I do that, going live, go live. This is a unlisted live stream on my YouTube channel. So only comments that will be there will be from me. So we've got uh, three cameras set up on the screen right now. I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna go to hotkeys. And right at the very bottom of hotkeys, you will see under other, you'll see one that says create marker. And I'm gonna highlight that where you can see that it says, uh, markers allow you to mark the key moments while you're live or recording. I wanna keep that in mind or recording uh, and then easily find and repurpose them in the StreamYard editor. More on that later. So that's what it says here. This is simply called B, it's just B. And just for a quick refresher while we're doing this, I'm gonna hit the B and you'll see here that it says marker created at 52 seconds. So it just kind of gives me a little bit of an idea of where that was created. At least it gives me a visual representation that that was done as well. So we have that. Um, in addition, while we're continuing to record, I'm gonna just go to the side here and show you inside my stream deck that I have added a button for marker. Um, we went into the hotkeys section to look at that marker that is set to B. And so now I'm going to just simply go to click on this button. This is a, a stream deck hotkey. You can see a hotkey right here. That's a stream deck hotkey right there. I simply drag that there and then I just put B in the hotkey and then named it SY marker. That's it. So now I have that set just as a FYI. I also have a marker for Ecamm right here. This is my marker for Ecamm. You can see here. I can actually even set the marker text more on that later. But this is this is our marker for StreamYard and it's on the Stream Deck. So we are going to go back into uh, StreamYard and this time, instead of hitting B on the keyboard, I'm gonna hit that marker button. And you can see on screen right here, it says marker created at two minutes and 11 seconds. And with that, I think we've been live long enough. We can end this stream. That is how you would put your markers into the stream. You just hit the B on your keyboard, or if you have a stream deck, you can add your uh, hotkey to the stream deck, as I have done here, and then you can use your, your stream deck to be able to just quickly add markers to your live shows while you're either recording or while you're live. Um, maybe you want to just hit the marker when somebody has said something really dope. You hit that marker just to, as an indicator. So you have that timestamp for you to go back to and look, go back and look at it later. Or if you're like me and your shows have segments, right? Your, your beginning part. So if I have a show where we have the host rant, we have the resource of the week, we have the uh, incubator spotlight, then we have a therapy session. All of those are different sections of the show. I can just hit the marker every time we go to another section. And that helps me with chapters when I'm, um, I'm putting chapters into the description to that video on YouTube. And chapters is just a very nice way for us as creators to help our viewers get right to where they wanna get to in your live show or in your video. But you can also use it for repurposing and let's take a look at that right now. So I'm gonna hit leave studio. We're gonna go to the library right here, library. And of course, this video that we just did, testing markers, is probably still processing. Uh, but we have another video here, 
that, that I did earlier today. I'm gonna click on that while this other video is still processing. I'm gonna pause this so that it doesn't play. And we're gonna go right up here to where it says edit and repurpose. It's gonna give me two options, one 16 by nine, the other nine by 16. So essentially wide and vertical. Uh, let's go to the wide one just to, for now. And you see all these blue markers, blue points here. These are all different points at which I hit the marker button during this particular live show, during this particular recording. So we have, we can click here and it immediately takes me right to uh, the end of the intro. That's where I hit the marker button. I can click here. It takes me to the end of, I think it was a seven of the show called This Week at Church. Um, I can click here and it'll take me right to the end of another segment, which was just an announcement by one of our pastors. And again, you get the idea. You can use these markers and now I have them like this. I can actually drag here and drag right to this marker and then drag right to this marker, this marker here, and then just clip out this segment of music um, by uh, the praise team or whatever it is I might wanna do. And you get the idea of it. Now that I've, I've selected this section, I can actually save that as a clip. I can export that and put it on social in a whatever way it, we deem necessary. So that's how we would use markers in StreamYard. Let's go back out, uh, discard changes, um, back again. Let's go to the one that we just did. Pause there, I'm gonna go to edit and repurpose. Uh, this time we're gonna go to shorts, reels, nine by 16. It's gonna bring up our video here. And again, like I said, it's probably still processing. So I'm not 100% sure that we'll be able to see much of anything on this. While we, while we wait on this to come up, it came up already, actually. Um, I want to show you something. We'll come right back to this. Uh, here in Ecamm, we have the ability to do markers as well. If you go to recording right here at the top, you can go to recording and you'll see it says add marker. All right. So I can just hit that button or I can hit the button on the uh, stream deck, whichever one I want to do. And when I hit add marker, you will see down here at the bottom, it says marker added. Marker has been added to the recording. If I go back up to the uh, output, I uh, sorry, recording button here and click add marker with info, let's say I'm producing the show. I've got some people in Ecamm and I'm just gonna say, okay, this is um, marker moment. All right, I can say marker moment, I can click add. And again, down here it says marker added. And what you will get from Ecamm, however, is a, a list of timestamps, as you'll see up here in the top, I've got an example one open. You have your start timestamp, you have the marker with no comment on it, and you have another marker where I actually put comments on it. And you will get that full list. And if you look at this, you'll recognize this is exactly what you need to put into your uh, YouTube description. So that is really clutch. Um, slightly different look and feel and utility than what you see from StreamYard. Uh, this, because it's already installed on your computer, because it's tier three, it's a totally different uh, scenario. The other thing that I love about Ecamm is that you get an SRT file after your live show is done. This is a sample of that TR SRT file. And not only will it have markers, but it will also have all the comments from that particular live show. Pretty dope, huh? So that's some of the stuff that we have been getting over on the Ecamm side of things. Let's go back over to StreamYard. So here in StreamYard, this is where we made that first marker and we can just go right to that point and you can see what we can do there. And again, back down here, uh, if we just hit fit, I think it was, uh, Ah, you know what, what it is, because we did shorts and reels, this is set to 60 seconds. So we only can, the clips are set to 60 seconds because it's made for a reel. So I, I can't ex expand out to see the whole thing. But the idea is you have two blue points on the timeline here where markers were made. You can simply come in here, click on that, grab the timestamp, add it to your description for your chapter markers, or you can clip out this portion uh, to repurpose it, or you can just make sure you have that particular moment highlighted so that you know exactly where it is, so you can know exactly what you wanna do. A marker is defined as an object used to indicate a position, place, or route. Markers for timestamps, markers for recordings, markers for chapters, and of all the use cases for markers, the one I love the most is repurposing. 
Knowing exactly where to go in an hour plus live show to grab a vertical is clutch. In fact, once you know that, you can clip out that part and post it directly to your social accounts all inside StreamYard. Go to this video right now to learn how and I'll see you over there.